a good afternoon to all uh, respected jury members, chairs, and the organizing committee and dear delegates. I will introduce myself first. My name is Dr. Ajmal Bil Natif, postgraduate in NPI Medical in Forensic Medicine in NPI Medical College, um, Mangalore. Here I am uh, presenting a poster regarding a case of autopsy of acute hemorrhage pancreatitis in a chronic alcoholic patient. And it's a case report. So I'll just brief about the case, what it was. It's a 35 year old male who was a known alcoholic for years, was brought dead to our emergency department. And uh, uh, from the history, we came to know that the deceased was having complaint of abdominal pain for past few years. And he did not turn to uh, uh, seek any medical attention. Uh, and suddenly, uh, a day before his death, he went to bed. Next day, he didn't wake up. He died on there only. And the uh, police was booked the case under Section 174 CRPC. CRPC means Criminal Procedure Code. And uh, as, it, uh, as it was a broader case, it came to uh, our department for autopsy and the autopsy was done. From the autopsy, the ex from the external examination, uh, the total body was full pale and poor, it was poorly nourished body with the clubbing of his both fingernails uh, and the whole body congenitive of fingernails, it appears full was pale. And from the internal examination, uh, from heart, brain, stomach and spleen, there was not much of a, uh, um, uh, uh, changes we noted as it grows things. And from the lungs, first we uh, noted in the gross, it was actually 456 and 378. Right lung was 456 and it uh, left lung was 378. Okay. Uh, and the lung was fully edematous and there was a on cut section which uh, so froth inside the uh, lung and there was carbonized particle deposited in the lung. And you can see the uh, lung uh, photo here. I don't know whether it is clear or not, but you can see the photo. Uh, it was like this, the lung, it was like this. And uh, uh, we sent for the histopathology of the same uh, lung pieces. And we got from the histopathology report that there was dilated uh, and septal edema of alveoli was there. Also carbon laden macrophages they noted in the, and this is this, the this, uh, black, black spots we are seeing is the uh, carbon laden macrophages and the whole alveoli you can see, uh, and the septa is fully edematous. And this is the vacuoles we are, you are seeing the bronchioles. Okay, then coming to the abdomen part, while opening the abdomen, we saw a large, hemorrhage and inflamed inflamed uh, uh, part like uh, first of all first of all we were like uh, uh, in dilemma what was it what it caused the thing uh, then we actually we didn't uh, at the time of doing the autopsy we are full of uh, confused what was the problem then we went on opening it uh, we saw the this one and when uh, while opening uh, further we saw the pancreas was fully uh, uh, logged in uh, blood and it was full hemorrhage was like uh, the pancreas I think the pancreas was burst like that the hemorrhage was it was frank blood was all over the abdomen while opening this and from the, the well we noticed the pancreas there was a large hemorrhaging arising from the pancreas and there was areas of necrosis you can see here and fibrosis within the lesion see this is the areas of necrosis and fibrosis you can see and from the, then we, we sent for the histopathology, of course, uh, then we saw in that uh, histopathology that they noticed in the histopathology that there were interlobular fibrosis was there, that this is the interlobular fibrosis. These are the lobules, you can, you can see in the, uh, this is the high definition and low, low definition, this is that. This is the lobules and interlobular fibrosis you can see here. Then there was an inflammatory infiltrate was there. That's a number two I mentioned here actually. Uh, then there was areas of necrosis. That's number next next uh, picture. That areas of necrosis that I mentioned three. And this is a necrosis part. You can see that uh, the all lobules you can see here. So normal tissue is there and this this tissue is fully the distract distracted. That is a necrosis part. Okay, and the dilated and distended ducts was there. In this case, I see that number four, it's a dilated and distended ducts 
of the pancreas and the areas of hemorrhages were uh, noticed uh, according to the histopathology report. Okay, now I will I'll come to uh, one thing that why I put this this one or more photo you can see here. And this is the photo which I got from a, um, a foreign author book that called us David, David Dodelnack. Uh, while doing the autopsy only we were in a dilemma what uh, we have seen this uh, uh, photo somewhere, the same feature we see somewhere. So me and my guide, Dr. Kishokuma sir was a uh, uh, was behind this case and we uh, find out there was the same like of case from the uh, Dolinac that like a 35, 38 year old female with a history of chronic ethanol abuse was bound and in her home. She had been complaining of abdominal pain associated with the nausea and vomiting but had not sought medical attention for the same. At the autopsy there was a retroperitoneal hemorrhage arising as a result of acute hemorrhagic pancreatitis. So we confirmed the case. That is what case also the whole the histopathology in the liver also we confirmed that. Then the histopathology, the gross was it was full yellowish. The uh, liver was fully yellowish and the hemorrhagic part was there. You can see here. Then the histopathology, uh, we got that steatotic changes with the focal areas of hemorrhages. See, these are the hemorrhages we see. So uh, this is the part of um, part from the histopathology and uh, gross findings we got and we came to the professional diagnosis of acute hemorrhagic pancreatitis and the hist and we sent uh, all the cases of broad debt we will send for, uh, for RFSL regional forensic science laboratory report and from the report it was told that uh, by the report uh, from the RFSL it was negative for the alleged chemical we was alleged by alcoholic and broad dead case we send like history like that but we got a negative report from the RFSL and the histopathology report was acute hemorrhagic pancreatitis with necrosis superimposed on chronic pancreatitis That's, that was the histopathology report from after perusal of this hist uh, histopathology case record, RFSL and everything uh, from the forensic department, we have opened uh, the case as, as uh, the death due to acute hemorrhagic pancreatitis. And uh, I want to conclude it, but that uh, the most challenging situation of a forensic uh, medicine uh, practitioner is that for an opinion, uh, giving opinion in a cause of death of uh, sudden unexpected, unwitnessed, or medically unanticipated death. So although in frequent uh, forensic settings, acute pancreatitis should be considered in sudden unexpected death, particularly in those who is related to alcohol abuse. And the gross findings of acute pancreatitis may overlap with those of postmortem autolysis. So the, uh, the, from the gross findings, if, if we, we should not confirm and we have to send for microscopic and RFSL should be done, uh, especially for this type of cases. And the inflammation and uh, all the features were suggesting uh, uh, to acute pancreatitis, then we have to confirm the diagnosis. Thus, acute pancreatitis should be considered as a differential diagnosis of all the cases of signs and symptoms of a digestive disease because uh, for acute pancreatitis, there will be a sign, sign, uh, symptoms like only gastritis. There are so uh, even uh, in doctor, I have uh, read many articles and uh, even doctors are not uh, like uh, they are not at all diagnosed themselves. They are having acute pancreatitis. And I saw one in one article that a young doctor also died because of acute pancreatitis. So we have to keep in mind that uh, there should be a differential diagnosis of acute pancreatitis uh, in every case of digestive tract. And also in academically, when we have we have to um, uh, go through the all the previous data, what is available uh, for, uh, and all, all, also I, I suggest for my colleagues in postgraduates and all, I, because they have to be keen observed about this, their previous type cases and al alcoholic, in alcoholic cases, what type of death in sudden death. Actually, there, there is a, um, prevalence of uh, uh, 0.2 to uh, 4.9 percentage of uh, uh, pancreatic deaths in case of sudden death. So we have to keep in mind uh, of this whole thing. Uh, and uh, that is all from, from uh, me now. And I, I uh, thank you for the organizing committee for giving me a very good opportunity for uh, present my case. Uh, and uh, thank you for all jury members and uh, chairperson. Thank you very much.